Garner. I'm with Allison Powell. Hi, Garner. And uh, she was going to take me on a data walk or kind of explain what the project is. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little sampler of a data walk. A data walk is a process for people who um, want to investigate how data appears in public space and to answer and ask questions about information mediated in space and um, usually to kind of address problems they have or questions they have. So I'm going to lead one in a couple of days here in Vancouver, scenic gray Vancouver, uh, which is going to be focused on space, money, and data and information. So we're going to walk a little and, and I'll talk a bit about some of the things people we're going to do on Wednesday. Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. So right. we're, walk we're right outside the Vancouver Public Library. Um, we're really walking. We really are walking. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the library is an interesting place to start a data walk. Um, when you do a data walk, you're usually walking with a group of people. And I give you tasks in your walk. I ask people to make a map of where they're walking, um, to have somebody who navigates to sort of identify why they're walking in a particular part of the city and what sort of things they might be looking for. Someone who um, takes pictures of, of uh, evidence of data in space. So uh, next to the library here, we might see the library itself as a huge <laughs> data infrastructure or a data repository or yeah, yeah. information juggernaut. Something. Uh, something. Um, a castle of data. A castle of data. And then I ask people to bring objects back and then the whole group has to tell a story um, to the people who are assembled back. And I usually have sort of three or four groups of people walking to tell a story about why they decided to walk where they were walking and what they thought was an important um, thread in all the things they're observing as they're walking around the city. So what I'm expecting we'll kind of talk about on Wednesday is um, how does information, digital information, kind of connect with space in Vancouver? Because a city where there's a lot of empty space and also a lot of inequalities around space. Yeah. Uh, and what kind of data might people want to know about in order to intervene in that? So I don't know. Um, so like if we were on a data walk here, what would be some things that you'd be uh, looking at? Well, I would be, um, I'd be kind of interested in the fact that there's QR codes on these posters. Okay. I never noticed that. There are QR codes there. So like what, so there's a sort of way that there's this historical picture, uh, which is about what used to be here. Uh, and it's also taking you to some kind of like space out in cyberspace so you can get some more information. So there's some interesting like real virtual alignment there, but there's also some inequalities because like I don't have a QR code reader. Also, yeah. I would never have thought to read a QR code. Yes. Yes. Um, I'd be looking at, at uh, sometimes we look for like data that's n about stuff that you're not supposed to know about. Yeah. Um, like information that's in the city that's not for your use. Yeah. But that helps the city run. And sometimes we look for digital intermediations of things that didn't used to be mediated by data. Like parking, for example. Um, parking meters are kind of fascinating. Or over here... And actually a these bikes are all like a mobile app thing like oh. there's there's not even a kiosk attached it's all app based no way so if we were gonna try and use these bikes we would have to have downloaded a mobile app linked it to our credit card and then remembered a code to punch into the bike i believe so i've never used them but well, I, that's I, what happened the last time i tried to take one of these bikes and it took me about 15 minutes and a whole lot of my personal mobile phone data plan oh, okay. to actually hire out a bike right, for my right, dad right. and my dad said if I wasn't here with you I'd never even be able to ride one of these bikes why can't I just get a bike without having a mobile phone and a credit card so that's a question that we would probably um, end up asking on a data walk also okay cool uh, so when is the event? <laughs> so um, I'm going to lead a data walk here, starting from the building behind me on Wednesday, the 7th of June, starting at 5.30, and it's hosted by Simon Fraser University. Okay. Thank you, Garnet, for coming Thanks. and walking with me. You're welcome.